Hey, my name is Sebastian, and today with me here, I have Team 7303 Robo Avatars all the way from California. They competed at the Maryland Tech Invitational. Absolutely phenomenal performance, just putting cycle after cycle on that Alliance Hub. Really, you know, finding their niche, uh, niche and specializing it and just killing it. And I think this is what led to them being picked as the second pick of the third Alliance and really just killing it in playoffs. So let's delve uh, into this robot and more on First Updates now. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. All right, let's start with your guys' drivetrain. Have you guys gone through any iterations of your drivetrain throughout the season, or has it been just the same thing since day one? Yeah, so um, to start in our first qualifier, we actually had a six-wheel drive, uh, four-motor six-wheel drive drivetrain. But um, what we realized is that turning off the wall with that is kind of hard because, like, obviously your robot can't strafe off. So then we that decided us for to switch to Mechanum for regionals. So for our drivetrain, we have, like, obviously Mechanum wheels, uh, with a 14 to 1 ratio and a carbon fiber drivetrain so it's super light but yet yeah, still super strong awesome yeah and you know do you guys are you guys glad that you made the decision to switch from six wheel drive to mechanum oh yeah definitely i think like for the drivers and the auto it makes it much easier to code and drive because of the much like because of all the maneuverability we have and also we actually surprisingly in mti we didn't face that much defense so it's, i'm Pretty happy that we made the switch to Mechanum. Awesome, yeah, and you know, let's follow the Freight's journey now. Uh, let's start with your intake. You guys chose not to go for that super simple intake, just uh, you know, surgical intake on a noodle or a surgical intake on an axle in the front of the robot. Instead, you guys have an extension system. So, you know, what was the de decision behind the extension system, and is it something you think you should do in the future as well? Yeah, I think the decision be behind the extension was to get faster cycles, basically, right? So. What we do with this, right, is we can, while we're driving into the warehouse, we can extend it out. So that removes about a half a second off our cycle time, which in the bigger picture of the entire match, that's quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I think that's like kind of our reasoning for doing it. Other than that, it's like a normal surgical tubing on an axle, but it just extends out and flips up. Yeah, can we see you guys intake a freight? Wow, yeah, I mean, that's just so quick. And, you know, we saw that seamless transfer behind it. How, how did you guys decide to have this transfer mechanism? Did you guys prototype it, or did you just model the entire thing first? Yeah, so originally in regionals, we had, for our robot, uh, we had actually had the motor on the flip-up itself. And we saw that this wasn't actually ideal, because then the servo had a lot more load to flip it up. So what we did for this iteration is we made it a coaxial system, so the motor can be still mounted to the slides, and the intake can flip up relative, uh, even if the motor is not spinning. Awesome. And you know, now that you have the freight inside your deposit, where does it go from there? Let's take a look at your guys' extension system. Did it go through any changes? I know earlier at NorCal we saw a turret design, but now we're not seeing that anymore. You know, what was the decision behind not running that? Yeah, I feel like after NorCal's, where obviously we didn't do as good as we wanted to, we realized that we needed to start like keeping getting our robot consistent and keeping it simple. So that's what led us to do angled slides, which we actually had for our first qualifier. Um, but instead of just like a stationary deposit, we also have the arm that flips out and that gives us a little bit more horizontal extension and it makes it easier to deposit, especially in the low and mid goal. Yeah, can we see that arm flip out? Awesome, yeah, and you know, you guys' slides are super, super fast. Did you guys put a lot of testing into making sure this is really fast or like, you know, how do you guys get all of your slides so smooth and then your arm so quick? What goes into that? Yeah, in my opinion, it's just iteration. I know Moth can talk about this a little bit later, but just iteration is very important in my opinion and like testing things out and trying them. So like for example, we run, we've we restrung our slides like to test with different like s tensions of the string and stuff many, many times. And we've also played with like the motor ratio and stuff. 
and for the arm even, just like a couple of days before the competition, we had it on servos until we decided to change it to a motor because we had an extra motor port and we figured that that would help it make, make it fast. Yeah, awesome. I mean, you guys have really incredible hardware. Now let's talk about some of the software on your robot. Uh, watching your guys' autonomous programs in the playoffs, I think it was just so nice seeing you guys just do cycle after cycle, very consistent, keeping up with the other top teams in the competition. How do you guys get so consistent autonomous programs? So for autonomous programs, like we wanted to prioritize consistency over anything else in this competition so while we may have not have, like peaked as like as many cycles as like teams like t technical difficulties we do have a that consistent one plus four auto and I think a lot of the, what the, what went into that was the sensors on a robot so of course we have our odometry and we like experimented with multiple types of odometry over the season before we eventually landed on this metal odometry design and this like metal odometry has like very very minimal play and it has increased our consistency of our autonomous tremendously and um, other sensors on a robot we have or also um, the intake we have like a bunch of automation for the intake so well first of all um, when the intake spins we have like stall detection so we could figure out when our intake jams and we could automatically reverse and that helps helped with a lot with our intaking in our autonomous so the intake is smooth and consistent in our autonomous and we also have of course a distance sensor in our intake to make sure we know when you're intaked and we know when you're transferred and another thing that we wanted to make sure when we're intaking it also in our autonomous and in our um, driver controlled period is the consistency of our transfer and for that we have like a lot of control that goes into our intake slides and deposit slides so for our intake slides we have um, some like we have feed forward for the robot acceleration so the transfer position is always consistent and for deposit slides we have stalling to make sure that the encoders don't drift because we had some like we uh, had some like experience with our encoder um, slides encoder is drifting so we have stall detection to figure out when they've reached the home position. Awesome, yeah, and I think, you know, one thing that teams can learn a lot from you guys and that you've mentioned this year is about your testing and iteration throughout the season, so let's hand it off to Amo to talk about that. Yeah, so as in any FTC competition, uh, we wanted to prioritize consistency. So as Akilish talked about, um, in NorCal's, uh, we were actually getting one plus fives, and, but the problem was that it wasn't very consistent, so especially for MTI, we wanted to um, prioritize consistency. So in our autonomous programs, uh, we strafe to the wall, and that really helps uh, not crashing into the barrier. And I don't think uh, in any of our matches we ever did that, so that's pretty cool. And also, uh, we did a lot of teleop practicing to make sure that we could get fast cycles, and yeah. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I think there's a ton of teams can learn from you guys. You guys were the second pick of the winning alliance at the Maryland Tech Invitational last year. Again, made it to the playoffs this year. Just very consistent, amazing performance from you guys. I think teams are excited to see big things coming from you guys in future seasons. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm a boss. Thank you. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their Wheat Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.